This is the 488 GTB, Ferrari's replacement to the 458. And by now, you almost certainly know what the biggest difference between the two cars is. But just in case it slipped underneath your radar, this car uses a mid-mounted turbocharged V8. Now, this isn't Ferrari's first time putting a turbo into a street-legal car. Far from it. In the late 80s and the early 90s, there was the F40. And more recently than that, Ferrari showed us the California T at this very show only a year ago before its arrival for the 2015 model year. And in fact, you may already know that Ferrari plans to turbocharge all of its future V8 models, so this is probably something you need to start getting used to. Besides, it really shouldn't be difficult considering its 3.9 liter turbo powerhouse makes 660 horsepower and 560 pound-feet of torque that it sends to the rear wheels through a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. Oh, and just in case you're worrying, the engine is still a typical Ferrari Screamer with a red line at 8,000 RPM. And speaking of metrics, the company says that this car has a dry weight of roughly 3,000 pounds, which makes it slightly heavier than the 458 Speciale, but also slightly lighter than the 458 Italia. But more importantly, it can rocket to 124 miles an hour in 8.3 seconds. Now, if that speed seems arbitrary, it's because it also equals 200 kilometers an hour. But there's so much more to talk about. This car comes with Ferrari's latest side slip angle control software that is designed to let you drive at the limit without going dangerously beyond it. Much as the SSC software certainly helps this thing to make a faster track lap than its predecessor, it probably doesn't hurt that it also generates up to 325 kilograms of downforce. For reference, Ferrari says that's 50% more than its predecessor. And if somehow that still isn't enough, although between you and me it probably should be, just take a look at this thing. I mean, if you thought that the 458 was beautiful, take it from me, the 488 GTB will leave you positively gobsmacked in person.